Hello, it's Linda here. Um, I'm a stamping up demonstrator from near Southampton in, in the UK. Um, and today I'm bringing you this project, which I absolutely love. Now, it's not original, I'm afraid. Um, it's an idea that I have taken and I have cased. Um, I first saw this demonstrated on YouTube by a stamping up demonstrator from Australia called Tanya Bell who goes under the YouTube channel of Stamping Tea. Um, so what, what I've done is I've taken um, her idea, she made a video back in 2013, and, and I've taken her idea, I've taken and used the same measurements to come up with an updated version using new products from the new annual Stamping Up catalogue. Okay, so you can see I've used this beautiful daisy punch here for the detail on the top. Um, the stitched framelets, the circle there, that has actually been out for a while now. But really I'm concentrating on these beautiful papers and this beautiful colour. Okay, so I'll just show you the box first and how, how it actually is put together. I think they call it an origami box, um, but basically it opens like this. So you can see... Tanya's was made as a fold flat box which you could just put away and bring out when you needed some gift packaging. So um, what I realised was it was perfect for eight tea lights. So I've got eight tea lights in here. So I'll just take those out. And as you can see... This package folds flat so you can actually put it away and as Tanya suggested you could make a stack of these and put them away for a rainy day and bring them out as and when you need them. But it's a really really cool idea um, and I just decided to make it using some of the new products like I said. So I'm just going to introduce them to you. So I've taken my paper here from this um, set of designer series papers. I think it's called Fresh Florals. Um, and today I'm going to be working using powder pink. So that is one of our new in colours. Okay, so those are the pretty Fresh Floral um, DSP papers in the nice new in colours. And another nice new product is this Daisy Punch. Okay, which creates really, really pretty centerpieces for boxes and cards. Okay. So, moving on, you want a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I just want to point out here now, because um, hopefully you might now be able to see, on the reverse of this beautiful pattern, is this pattern. And... A lot of people who've seen this for the first time are looking at it and thinking that there is a printing error because there is a variation here in the colour. I didn't go to the on-stage event stamping it up held in November but um, it was made clear to the demos there that this isn't a printing error. It's It was intended, it's kind of to create like a vintage look, something like that. Okay, so I just thought I might make that point here. Now... This is the side of the paper that I want to show, so I'm going to be scoring here on the reverse side. So, making our first score line, and I'm using the thicker end of my stylus, you're going to score at one and a half inches, and at three, and at three and three quarter inches. And I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want to crack this pretty paper. Okay, so I'm lightly scoring. Now I'm going to turn this 180 degrees, okay, so that those vertical score lines are opposite the um, score lines that I'm now going to be making on this side. Um, so again, we're going to score at one and a half inches, and at three, and at three and three quarters. Now we're going to turn the paper 90 degrees so that those vertical score lines are now horizontal across here. And you're going to make two score lines. You're going to score at three inches and at four and a half inches. And then you're going to turn it 180 degrees again. So once and then twice. And you're going to score again at three inches 
and at four and a half inches. Okay, so keeping your paper this way up, so you've got these horizontal lines here, just going to transfer it now over onto your work mat. And we're going to do some folding and some light burnishing. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring this corner here across to this inner score line here. So you've got these two central score lines. So this one on the right, I'm just going to put my finger there, bring the paper over, press it, and then just lightly burnish it. Okay, I'm being really careful because I don't want to crack this beautiful paper. So I'm going to do the same here on this side. So putting that here, I'm just going to turn it around because it's easier for me to see. I want to make sure it's running directly on that score line there. So just folding it and lightly burnishing. Okay, and we're going to do the same up here. Alright, and so now I'm just going to do some, we're going to go around and burnish all of these other score lines. Okay, so just going to bring the paper up like this. And like this. Just got to be very, very careful with it. Make sure you've got it folded in the right spaces. Okay. Like that. two further score lines on each side. So again, just folding my paper gently. Very lightly burnishing. about this paper is it's such a beautiful thick quality so it kind of it fights with you a little <laughs> yeah. just being really really careful here with the folding making sure that I do burnish it nice and accurately like that okay so turning your paper again so what you've got down here uh, they're one and a half inch score lines that we made, okay, and you've got that big gap there where we made the four and a half inch score lines. So you've got you've got that fold there. So what you're going to do now is you're going to open that out like that, and you're just going to lift the paper up like that. This is going to come across, forms like a square like that, and then you're going to push it back on itself like so. I'm going to do the same with this one here. So you're just going to push the paper up like that, bring this down, fold it and push it back. So they're now facing out that way. And we're going to do the same on this side. So this is coming across like that. I'm going to open it out. And we're just going to lift up here like this, pinch it, pop it down and fold it and then fold it back on itself like that. And the same with this one. So just popping it up like that, bringing it down and then pushing it back. 
So now all of these pieces here are, foot, are facing outwards like that. Okay, and so now it's at this point that I'm going to bring in some double sided tape. Now, a lot of people make these origami boxes and they don't use any tape. Okay, applying some double sided tape at two strategic points here just gives the box a little bit more rigidity. So, I'm just going to pop that open, and what you'll see is you've got like a big rectangle here, and then you've got this central rectangle, and you want to take some double sided tape and you want to put it on the inside of this score line and run it across like this. So you're going to do it there and on the inside of this score line here, run it here up to that edge. Okay, so you have got in effect then you've got a little rectangle there, you've got a square there, you've got a square there. So you're doing it there on the inside of that little rectangle and the same with the other side. So you've got two little rectangles each side. It's just rather difficult to see um, working on this patterned paper. So hopefully that's going to explain it to you. Put my paper back together. So that's coming down there like that. This is coming up here like this. And then what we're going to do, these bits are facing outwards, remember. And then you're just simply going to bring this across here. And lightly burnish just down there. And then you're going to bring this one across to meet it. Like that. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is apply just um, a little bit of pressure now. A couple of strategic points. So we've got like this square here. Okay. So what we need to do is... We need to just take our bone folder and what we want to do is just bend the paper back so that it goes, yields slightly up to that point there. Can you see? So just going to run my bone folder there so you can now see that there's that line there. And we're going to do the same on each of these four little squares if you like. Okay, so now what you'll find is, when you actually want to form your box, you just reinstate these folds here. It should just open out like this for you. Okay, that's that side going. A little tricky, put a little bit of perseverance, just pop this out here like so and then I'm just going to bring that up like that, okay, and then I'm just going to burnish there and burnish there along that line. So then you see your box comes up together really nicely like that and you can pop your bits inside. Okay, so just going to take a few little candles. And I did find that these really fit absolutely perfectly in here. So a very nice way to gift some scented candles to somebody. Okay, like that. 
and then you find you've got like this nice rigid li little um, bit here on the inside. So what we're going to do now is just make a nice little belly band that will hold this together. Okay. So for the belly band, I've got two pieces of card here. So this is powder pink and then this is a piece of the DSP. So this piece of card is two inches by ten and then this DSP strip is one and a half inches by ten. Okay, and now it's just a question of wrapping it around the box. So bring your box together like that. Put this kind of central on the top. Okay, hold your box together really nicely. Close it well. Okay, and then just fold. And do the same the other side. Okay. And then just bring your card across like that and lightly burnish that, that fold again here straighten it up so you can use these edges as your guide ok, so that's that done bring the box back in pop that on the top and then do the same here so we're just folding that one and we're bringing this one across and we're folding that one also straight and I'm just going to pop it back on now so that we can apply some double sided tape to the bottom Okay, so I'm just going to take some and I'm going to pop a strip here. And pop a strip here. And close up the belly band. Okay, so there you have a nice neat little package and the belly band slips off nice and easily okay but holds it together really well so you can see it's a really lovely neat little package now and I'm just going to finish off I've got some powder pink cardstock here I'm just going to punch out three daisies I'm just going to layer them. I've got glue gun, a glue gun. I've got a glue dot stuck to my thumb. Right, remove that. So now I'm just going to primp up these lovely petals just to give the box. We'll give the flower lots of dimension and I decided to set it on one of these um, dies which I've cut now the, this is a circle it's a stitched um, shape die comes from this set of dies here which are called stitch shapes frame framelits and so you get a series of dies here we've got um, circles and ovals and squares so you've got those four squares there and then you have circles and um, ovals and I just think they're really really useful and they just make a really nice interesting background for a topper okay so um, I've also got these fabulous new clear faceted gems I'm going to be applying a large one to the circle of my, or the centre of my daisy. See, a little bit of sparkle and bling. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm going to take a dimensional and pop that there and place my flower there. And then I'm just going to take another four and put them on the back here. OK, 
Okay, and just going to take my topper and place it there strategically on the top of my box. So there you go, that's a, just a really, really pretty way of making a little box which can be folded flat and kept away, more stored away until you need one on another rainy day. Okay, you make a stack of them, pop them away, um, but they really do look very, very eye-catching once they're assembled and particularly eye-catching if you're using this particular new um, punch. Oh, I just love the daisy punch. So there we have them. So this one was made in fresh fig, new in colour, and this one is in powder pink, another new in colour. So I hope that you've enjoyed that, tut that tutorial. I hope um, it was easy for you to follow. Um, thank you very much for joining me today and I will be back with another tutorial for you shortly. Bye.